everyone. I just wanted to give you an update on my refrigerator. I spent so many hours online researching refrigerators. I wanted something smaller because it's just me and I didn't want it to take up so much space in this small kitchen. And I wanted it to be vintage because I wanted it to kind of go with this, the character of this apartment, which was built in the 1930s. But I just couldn't find it. It wasn't reasonable, it wasn't available. I wound up getting this one and I'll tell you why. This is a 10.1 cubic foot apartment sized refrigerator. It is made by Danby and it's reasonably priced and it is Energy Star. Very important to me and it was quiet. They said it was quiet. We shall see. Uh, I want a quiet refrigerator. I want an Energy Star appliance and I want it frost free. Now, I grew up with a Frigidaire refrigerator in our house that if you opened the freezer compartment, it was solid ice and it was always my job to defrost the refrigerator. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that. So I found one that is just big enough and just expensive enough to have that feature. And I, I found other refrigerators that could convert to off-grid. And I thought, oh, those are like vintage looking and that would be so cool to be able to take that to my homestead, wherever that is. And I, I just said, no, you know what? I have to plan for something that I am going to use now that is practical for me now. And that's why I wound up with this one. It has a big freezer compartment in the top, you know, considering it's a small refrigerator. And it has plenty of room in the bottom for everything that I need. As you can see, it's still brand new. I haven't taken the tape off yet. The energy guide says my estimated yearly energy cost for this appliance is $36. That's not bad. Well, it says, your cost will depend on your utility rates and use. Well, I am just going to plug it in. What do you mean use? You, you use it, you turn it on and it just, you use it. It's on. <laughs> uh, okay, that's French on the back. When you first get a refrigerator, if the box has been tipped, you have to sit the refrigerator up for at least an hour to let that refrigeration go back into its tubes and not plug it in right away. Very important. Oh, and I wanted to tell you how I got it here. I did not videotape this. I hired a man to meet me here. I rented a truck from Home Depot and Celine and I put it on the truck and I drove here and this man met us and this had the big plastic straps around the box and he put these straps on his shoulders and we guided the back. Was it, we? yeah, we guided the back and we got it up the stairs and into the kitchen and we took it apart and it wasn't dinged up, it wasn't dented or anything and I thought, whew, cleaned up all the mess and here it sits. So let's get the tape off. everywhere. Hmm. These obviously come off, which makes it easy for cleaning, I suppose. This is some kind of a juice or bottle holder for small bottles. just to protect the door. I kind of like this tape. I think I should get some of this tape. It's like better than packing tape, but not as impossible as duct tape or 
And it's much more durable than paper tape, than blue paper tape. More packing material. And here are the instructions. I'm not sure what that gizmo is. What do you suppose? There's some kind of a bracket and a tool, and I'm not sure what what that does, but we'll find out when we read the instructions. If we read the instructions, I'm kind of bad about that. I like things that are very, very intuitive and self-explanatory, and you don't have to read a whole bunch of instructions to figure out how to put them together or use them. Another consideration I had was the handles because most refrigerators have handles that extend out from the door, which you can catch and rub into and bang into and catch your clothing on or whatever. And I wanted this to be very, very sleek. And so I love this handle. You just reach in and grab it this way and nothing is sticking out here at all. Another thing that I noticed is that this particular model is very plain and just sort of disappears. Some of the other models had a big emblem with their company name on the front of it. And I just don't want to be looking at that all day long. <laughs> so this one has a little bit of plastic on top of the name Danby. I'm going to take the plastic off. It's just a simple, almost flat, five letters, and then you have your energy star here, and I think that's important. Although I could take that sticker off too. Ta -da! See how clean and simple? Now, I'm not gonna plug it in yet because I don't see any reason in paying for electricity until I'm actually in here, and it could be two weeks. Two weeks would be the soonest. No, three weeks would be the soonest that I would be uh, staying here. And so I'll probably turn it on in about a week. But you know what's happening right now? This is my first rain in my new place. It is raining. There was a huge cloud overhead when I drove over and now it's raining. And rain is such a big deal here because it doesn't happen very often. Let's go take a look. Somewhere down there I will have, I'm hoping, three pots if there's space for my citrus trees and my apple tree.
Thanks so much for watching this channel, liking my videos, and especially sharing them with your friends. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Late Bloomer Show. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please watch these. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video.